Hey there everybody, Negaroth here, bringing you a brand new LP. For those of you who may not know, I'm actually a rather large fan of 40k lore in general. And while I may normally suck at strategy games, which kind of limits me from enjoying most 40k based games, I can actually enjoy this one quite a bit. As it's a departure from the normal RTS, instead it's actually a third person shooter by the name of Space Marine. Can you guess who the main characters are in the game? If you said Space Marine, well then you're a fucking genius because, well, that's what we're going to be playing as. In what you can already guess to be a orc smiting simulator, if you will, if you couldn't tell from the uh, title screen here. But let's go ahead and start a brand new campaign. I am going to be playing this on the normal difficulty as I don't want to be annoyed. But let's go ahead and watch the opening cinematic. Captain Titus, the Orcs have massacred the Forge World's forces. And they have taken the planetary defense weapons. Clever of the damned Orcs. Keeps us off their backs while they loot the Titan war machine. Race for evasive maneuvers. Pilot, report. Starboard engine is dead, Sergeant. We are losing altitude. Get the ship to safety. We'll find another way down. Hi, Captain. Found a whole glass of Joe returning to launch bay. This is your plan. We need to get to the surface to take out the gun battle. Or do you want to go home already, Sergeant? Not before having a word or two with the Orcs. Is that wise, Captain? The Codex Astartes does not support this action. Try to keep up.
and welcome to the deck of the Orc Kill Cruiser. First and foremost, I do want to say I really don't think that's the point in a jump pack, but spurging aside, we are already in the thick of combat here. We're already being barraged in mass by these little Orc Gretchens, and honestly, outside of their superior numbers, they really don't pose any type of a threat. They can be taken down by one slash of our combat knife or one shot from our bolt pistol. And if you're actually feeling fancy, you can just roll on top of them and crush them. They pose absolutely no threat. But what is our first actual threat of the game are these Orc Boys. Orc Boys are the first tier in the melee classes available to the Orcs. Now, while they may not seem like they do that much damage, they actually do. And normally they do attack in greater numbers, but considering that this is the tutorial stage, they want to be a bit nice to you, but I don't want to be nice to them. But taking a little view of the sky area, we can see that the PDF are being pretty much ass raped by the orc ship here. So let's go ahead and make our way across by blowing our way through some fine orc engineering and almost being blown apart by probably friendly fire. But that entire thing was just to show you, well, now that you're damaged, you should probably execute somebody to get back some health. I'll explain a bit more about the stun and execute mechanic in just a second, but first we're going to get a kind word from the war boss. Yep, that much larger, more angry looking orc is called a war boss. He is pretty much king shit of Fuck Mountain in the world of orcs. The bad thing is they don't really develop much of a storyline for this particular war boss. He's just kind of there and he just kind of threatens you sometimes. He is otherwise pretty much impotent and not really that much of a deal. Especially here where the only thing he does is sometimes throw stick bombs at you, but they really don't do that much damage. Honestly, you're more in danger from just being overwhelmed by what is now quite a cadre of uh, orc boys ready to just pummel you from every angle inside. But that's why we have this stun effect, which after we stun them, we can then pierce their heads or snot their faces in to get back some health. Now to get the stun to uh, occur, we can do a number of things. We can bull rush them, which is a combination of charging and melee. Or we can do a strong attack, which is, well, it's quite a number of different things, but it can be conjoined with our normal melee to do things such as a shoulder charge or pent smack or even, on this particular gentleman, a kick in the face. But enough of this deck level combat, I think it's time to go ahead and help our Planetary Defense Force fellows out and take down this orc ship. 